example on the awareness would be that uh, he pointed out that you react quicker to uh, sound than you do to visual stimulation of the baby. So it's like if, say, you've got a loud explosion, you have a reflex action, uh, how they say, um, works on a different level because you normally couldn't move that fast, you know, that boom to be able to. So, uh, uh, so much of the drills were audio, you know, to get the response that he wanted to bring about that awareness. The, the highest, though, that he felt was the tactile awareness, and that is when you're in contact already and you can feel the man, whether he's pushing or pulling or trying to get a hold, changing positions or whatever, and his whole key there was fitting in. And by that time, your awareness was at a level to where when he moved, you were like his shadow. See? Only un making it to where the shadow just couldn't quite connect to the rest of the body. Yeah. So he was, again, over and over again, till there was such a, a fine refinement that you, know, you felt different and you were different. <laughs> to see what's, what it looks like. So, you know, you really want to be participating. You know, look at the eyes or look at the chest. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, I find that Sifu Jerry is the teacher who really walks his talk. I've had a great time training with him over the years, and it's been extraordinarily valuable for my students. When he does seminars with the students at, at our schools, they just have a ball. It's a great time. So, um, you know, he, he's capturing the essence of Jeet Kune Do, both philosophically and physically, and passing that on in a very pure form. And to me, that's extraordinarily valuable because of you know, the brilliance that Bruce Lee showed in, in his own dedication to martial arts and the study of it. Bruce Lee was a positive influence in my life, and there's a lot of things that I have accomplished because of that positive influence. Um, I, was, I used uh, that inspiration to join the military and then um, became a firefighter. And I feel that I want to learn this and share it with other, other people. I didn't know anything about energy drills and uh, you know, uh, non-telegraphic kits, uh, bridging the gap and stealing the staff. You know? And uh, I was just amazed at uh, how, how it all came into, you know, how you were able to use it in, in real time. It's really effective. I think it's more effective. Even the, the police should be training this because it's more effective. But I think the impact in society and the people comes from the philosophy. It's really strong philosophy. The energy you feel from him actually allows you to learn more about your own energy. And your energy improves more and more the more you feel his energy. It's a, it's a, it's like a two-way street. It's, it's definitely a, a give and a take. When I was going through websites, I found you know Bruce Lee, and then I found you know Jay with Bruce Lee. It's very personal, and um, and you know you can ask questions, and he shares stories about Bruce with him. It's been awesome because he actually trains it hands-on with you, as opposed to having a bunch of assistant instructors help you out. He does it himself. It's got a, a blade, and you're cutting through something with an edge. This grabs right here. The time is off just a little bit. He grabs right here. Boom. See it? Boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. 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 Charlie.